shift the music a little bit. So, we had a lot of amazing sponsors this year that really pulled through for us to be able to pull off a, a conference of this size. It takes a hell of a lot of money. You may not realize how much, actually. But it takes a hell of a lot of money to be able to do all of the things that we have done this year. And we couldn't have done it without these guys. So um, I'd like to hear a round of applause for all of our sponsors. Okay. So I want to start a little bit this morning with some statistics. We've done a lot of really cool things this year, uh, at least I think they're cool, and uh, I wanted to share some of that with you. So the first thing is, I know I've annoyed a few people, but 422 blog posts since last YAPSI. <clears throat> and because of that, we sold out. And that's huge. That means that what we're doing is important. Every year, pretty much, Asia sells out, Yapsi Asia. And they proclaim it on the blog. They're really happy about it. And we should be happy about that, too, because we've achieved that. Um, and again, this t sends out a message far beyond the Pearl community that what we're doing is important and that people really want to be here. So that will help attendance next year. It'll help people plan ahead next year, which will make it easier for the people that are planning next year. If they know who's coming earlier, that's better. We had 32 people in the Zero to Pearl workshop before the conference this year. That's 32 people that didn't really know anything about Pearl coming into this. That's a huge number of new, uh, new growth for the Pearl community, which is a good thing. And they're here today, many of them, uh, continuing on with the beginner's track. That's nearly 8% of the attendees are here brand new to Pearl today. That's cool. 446 of you are here today, not quite all here yet, but uh, 446 of you are going to be here today to participate in the conference, and to my knowledge, according to the Pearl Foundation, that's the largest number of attendees at a Nor Yapsi North America ever. So. In addition, there's hundreds, I, I don't think thousands, but maybe thousands, uh, more watching uh, live streams uh, at their homes and offices uh, now all over the world. We know that a number of the sponsors have actually even set this up to stream in conference rooms in their offices so that their other uh, employees that couldn't make it here are able to uh, participate in the conference as well. So that's huge. Raise your hand if this is your first Yapsi. Look at that. That's growth. Okay. So uh, that's, that's about it that I want to talk about uh, for the stats, but uh, there's a lot more that I could share with you individually if you're interested. Um, I do want to point out there are these shirts. See, like this. That logo is, uh, you'll see a lot of those shirts walking around. If somebody is wearing that shirt, that means they can help you if you have a question. So that is, that is the Yapsi staff shirt for this year. So if you do have a question, seek out one of those people. They will either be able to help you or point you to someone that can help you. We want to have a very fun conference. We don't want a lot of drama at the conference. We just want everybody to be good, nice to each other. So let's try to, let's try to not have any hazing, no touching, no harassing, no humiliating or belittling. Instead, be nice. I mean, it's pretty simple. Just be nice. Uh, be respectful. Be helpful. Be entertaining. And most importantly, just be fun. It's not that hard. Be fun. Let's have a round for fun. If there's any questions about what is or is not appropriate, check out the code of conduct. You can snap a photo of that QR code right there or go to the URL below it. Okay. This year we're also introducing something really cool called Yapsi Bingo. Um, in, your, in your bag, in your conference bag, you will have gotten a Yapsi Bingo card. There are 25 activities on here that you should try to complete. If you can complete even a row of them, you will have a really great conference. If you can complete all 25 of them, you'll have a mega bingo, and therefore you'll have a great conference. So um, you should really try and do as many of these as possible. That'll help you get the most out of the conference. And 
On the back of that card, there's a lot of really good tips. If this is your first conference or your first YAPSI, there's a lot of good tips for getting the most out of the conference. Uh, so I encourage you to read the back of that card. We have a lot of uh, raffles this year. We replaced the auction with raffles, uh, and we're going to spread those raffles out over the course of the conference. Um, that allows a lot, of, a lot more people to participate than can in the, in the auction because uh, some of you are, quite frankly, insane. Um, <laughs> so you'll go and spend $500, and that kind of puts a lot of people out of the running. Uh, I like that you'll spend $500 to help the Pro Foundation and the Pro community, but I'd like a lot more people to be able to participate. That's why we went with $5 raffles. Raffles, it's something that everybody can get involved in. And this, all of the proceeds of this benefit Pearl. We're basically doing this to build a better Pearl. So all the money that comes in for this is going to basically help sponsor people to fix bugs and add improvements to Pearl. Uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. Oh, one quick announcement. Um, last night at the dinner, somebody left a black uh, windbreaker. Uh, that'll be up here if anybody needs to collect that later. Um, so... Every morning in this room at 8.40, and right now, uh, there will be a raffle for lunch with Larry. Uh, and basically what that means is bring, uh, we'll pick uh, three names out of a jar, that jar right there, um, and those three people will be able to have lunch with Larry Wall um, on our dime. So uh, I'm going to start off with, why wouldn't we do that? <laughs> How this works is you need to put a ticket in this, and you'll have the other ticket. You need to be present to win, so I'm going to pull, call out the first one. So get out your tickets if you have one for lunch with Larry. Do we have 309-0173? Anybody? Excellent. Uh, come up and claim your prize. Okay, uh, three zero nine zero three five five. Excellent. Give him a round. Okay. And uh, finally, do we have three zero nine zero one one seven? No, nobody. Oh, that person misses. Let's try another one. You have 117? Oh, all right. Come get it. Thank you. All right. So let's back up for a second. So we have a bunch of really other really great prizes. Linode has, has donated uh, $1,200 worth of hosting that we'll be giving out uh, at the Linode Beer Garden tonight. Uh, uh, Liquid Web has do donated $3,600 of hosting that we'll be giving out on Friday afternoon. We have a bunch of books and e-books uh, from No Starch Press and the Pragmatic Bookshelf. Uh, and then at the banquet tonight, we'll also be giving out over $1,000 worth of uh, ThinkGeek merchandise out of their store. Uh, so let's hear it for our sponsors for the I need to encourage you guys to, uh, to participate in the raffles early because a lot of our drawings are going to be happening today. Um, so you'll miss out on some of the uh, various prizes if you don't go up and buy some raffle tickets this morning. We'll start the, the next raffle will be this afternoon in this room. So make sure that before 4.30 tomorrow, or today, you have gotten your raffle tickets uh, up there. And again, all the money goes to benefit Pearl, so be generous. Okay. Moving on. I wanted, because we're in a, kind of a different facility than normal, uh, I wanted to give you some maps to, to move around. Um, with, with a group this large, we couldn't fit everybody in one building, so we actually had to lease out two buildings. Uh, so we have, today we're in Lowell, in the, or this morning we're in Lowell. We're in the red room right here. Um, you have par probably already been up to the registration area, but if you haven't, uh, that is where the registration area is, and that's also where you'll buy your raffle tickets. Uh, so that's just up, uh, up the stairs and around the corner. Uh, then as you go outside to the street out front here, that's Langdon Street, and this is the Lowell Center. You need to go down the hill 
if you go up the hill, you're going the wrong way. You want to go down the hill uh, toward the pile center. That is where all the other talks will be held today. So there will be talks in this room, and then there will also be four other tracks in the pile center. Um, this is what the pile center looks like on the inside. There are three floors. Uh, so there are sessions on the first floor, second, and third. You'll have to look at the maps to see which one uh, is for your track. There is only 10 minutes between each session. Uh, so you're going to have to hustle if you're going to move from this that building to this building. Um, <clears throat> I will point out that there are there is food in room 112 and 111 uh, all day today uh, and for the rest of the week as well uh, and and there uh, there is also there are also drinks right outside this door every morning or actually all day long there will be coffee tea juice water uh, and soda uh, there but if you're looking for some snacks you'll need to do that over there now when I say food I do mean snacks uh, lunch is on your own so. Uh, a block that way is a street called State Street that has a hundred different restaurants on it of every variety from Afghani cuisine all the way to I don't know what would be with a Z, but everything is there. So, what's that? Zulu. Zulu. Okay. I, I don't think there is any Zulu, unfortunately. So, I, I guess I just lied to you. So. Uh, so, uh, also just to plan ahead a little bit, uh, tonight we have a bunch of really great activities planned for you. Uh, starting at 6 o'clock, um, we have a Linode beer garden on the roof of the Pile Center overlooking the lake, so that will be a beautiful view. Um, Linode has sponsored a whole lot of uh, beer to get you guys all lubricated so that you can, <laughs> so that you can uh, socialize adequately. Um, and that is where we will hold our first raffle. And then... As we continue up there, we'll just uh, keep it moving, and there will be a banquet up there tonight so that you guys have time to socialize with, you, with each other, get to know each other, and form some new friendships since you saw how many new people there are here this year. Um, after the banquet, we will lead, or oh, and at the banquet, we will be doing the Think Geek raffle. Um, after the banquet, we will lead all of you to the Pearl Foundation party, which is three blocks uh, that way. Um, and uh, we'll have a group of people leading you over there. Uh, we, uh, we have a secret sponsor who has paid for a, a lot more alcohol, in case you didn't get enough of Linode's beer. Um, and uh, that will be going from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. But there is a trick to it. In order to get in the door, we have shut down this place. Uh, this place normally holds 500 people. Uh, so we just said, you know what, shut it down. It's ours tonight. So uh, in order to get in there, though, you have to be wearing a Yapsi T-shirt. Uh, a Yapsi, we're going to hand out some uh, C-Panel at their booth over in Piles. Going to be handling, handing out some uh, Pearl Foundation shirts that blink with sound. It's very cool. Um, you have to be wearing one of those, or you have to have your Yapsi badge. One of those three items to be able to get in the door. Uh, so that's at 624 University Avenue. And again, we'll talk more about that at this afternoon at 430 in this room. Um, tomorrow, we also have a game night sponsored by cPanel. Let's hear it for cPanel. So we have five rooms set aside over in Pile Center, set up with tables and chairs, and we've also got hundreds of games for you guys to, to play with, and hopefully a bunch of you have brought games with you as well. Uh, so that will be going from 6 to, to 11 tomorrow. And then also during that time, if you're into MST3K or that style of bad movies, uh, we have the Bad Movie Boff set up in a theater over there uh, for 100 people also, if you uh, want to do that. Um, we'll also have uh, food and drinks during that time. Uh, it's finger sandwiches, that sort of thing. So it's not, uh, if you're looking for steak, you'll need to go elsewhere. But uh, we do have some finger sandwiches, beer, uh, and other snacks. Of course, popcorn for the uh, movie. Um, anyway, that's tomorrow evening. Um, and right now, I would like to uh, take a minute to have our spouses uh, meet Julia right over here by the door. You guys are about ready to go on a grand adventure today. I think uh, Wollersheim Winery today, right? Yeah. So um, any spouses, if you could meet Julia at the door at this time, that would be good. Thank you. Moving on. Um, food is good. Oh, I forgot that I put this slide in here. Yes, you're here. <laughs> Drinks are here. And over in uh, Pile, 
food is there. We already covered that, so I'll just skip it. We do have a couple of schedule changes today. So you have a printed schedule in your bag. The printed schedule is wrong on, on two different items. So uh, let's take a moment to take note of that. Uh, in pile 235 at 130 today, uh, there was supposed to be something else, but we have moved James Keenan in there. His Pearl Testing 101, 82% of what you need to be a competent Pearl Tester, will be going on at 130 in pile 235. Please take note of that. Um, also, in pile 235, from 2.30 to 4.30, uh, Brian DeFoy will be uh, hosting his CPAN workshop. Um, he calls it See One, Do One, Teach One. Basically, if you have never uploaded anything to CPAN before, he will be there, and so will a, a few other experienced people, be there to help you learn how to up upload modules to CPAN. Uh, who here does not know what CPAN is? Maybe I should explain it quick. Everybody? Everybody knows what it is? Okay, good. Um, and that is today. Yes. They have been canceled. That's what I'm saying. The ones that were in that room at that time are no longer there. This is there. Okay. So those are the schedule changes for today. 2.35 or 3.25? 2? Two? Oh, 2.35 two, is the workshop room. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions on that? Yes. The website is updated. Yes. Sorry, I should have mentioned that as well. So the website is up to date, but your obviously your paper is not. Um, okay. Good. Yes. There are some changes for tomorrow and Friday as well. We'll cover those uh, tomorrow morning and Friday morning because there will probably be more changes. So, all right. Uh, on the back of your badge, uh, you probably have already noted this, but there is a Wi-Fi username and password on the back of your badge. That will get you access to the Wi-Fi network on the campus here. Um, and that's, it's the same username and password for both buildings. So if you log in once, you'll be automatically logged into the other building. Uh, so that's on the back of your badge, right at the bottom of the badge. Very tiny print.